Joe from San Francisco. My name is Dwani Desai, and I'm really honored to be nominated as the graduation speaker for my class. There are two reasons I want to be the graduation speaker. One of the things I quickly realized about grad school is that besides statistics, every one of us has fought a different battle to get here to the finish line. As the graduation speaker, I want to acknowledge and celebrate all our personal journeys that has brought us here today. Some have had language barriers to overcome, others have had a baby to look after, and some have even fought cancer. For me personally, I had unfinished business with education. It would really settle the account if someone like me, who was barely allowed to graduate from her undergraduate program, was allowed to be the graduation speaker and address the rest of my class. So firstly, I want to celebrate all our personal journeys. Secondly, I want to thank all the people who made this personal journey possible. It's been a long and windy road over the past 15 months, and I, for one, would have certainly not made it here without the support of my family, professors, and friends. I want to celebrate all those relationships in our lives. So here goes the speech. Ladies and gentlemen, professors, parents, and my dear class of 2018, what a day. We've made it. And what a ride it's been. Look around. Coming from all over the world, we've become pros with the Chicago winter. Mom and Dad, we got here. We've survived the palpitation of finding out our classes each quarter, five times no less, and then finding out our immersion projects. We shared a room with another person for three months. It's all good. And now, we're graduates of Medult's Integrated Marketing and Communications program, even if we don't fully know what that means yet. That, dear class, is some statistically significant level of achievement. Something the incoming batch will never experience, because Professor Adwin Malthouse is no longer teaching them statistics in the first quarter. How unfair. But in all seriousness, friends, we've come a long way in the past 15 months. And while we certainly share a journey, today I want to spend some time to celebrate all our personal journeys and stories that we've taken to get here today. Some of you might know my personal story that brought me to Mutual. During my undergraduate back in Singapore, I was lost, disinterested in what I was studying, and intimidated by a GPA of 2.8 on 5 in my first semester. Every other week, I'd come home and tell my parents that I want to drop out of school. I was low on confidence and ashamed. Somehow, I scraped through it and was barely allowed to graduate. But I knew I had unfinished business with education. I knew that that would not be my last degree. The accounts are now settled, and that is my adult story. But everyone I know was fighting some kind of personal, uh, personal battle and has had their own adult story. I've been so inspired by the stories of my classmates, of sacrifice, of resilience, and of hard work. And I would love to share and celebrate the stories with you here today. First of all, I would like to invite all of those for whom English is not their first language to please stand up. I've been amazed by the courage and determination of my dear friends who have left their homes, home countries, and joined a communications program in English in the United States. I could not imagine doing what you guys have done. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating them. There is one more personal story that I would like to celebrate here today. The journey of the strongest woman I know and I've had the privilege of being friends with. Along with five quarters of heavy coursework, she fought cancer. Bravely and with the biggest smile. For the Managalia, please stand up and take a bow. You've been an incredible inspiration to us all. Thank you. In case that's all got a little emotional, good. Because now we're gonna celebrate the people without whom this journey would not have been possible. Our parents, professors, mentors, friends, all our well-wishers, and some wine. This journey would not have been possible without all your support. Thank you for having our backs. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your mentorship. Thank you for your friendship. For someone to cry on, someone to call, 
and someone to celebrate this moment with. Long, windy journeys like these really show us what are the relationships in our lives that are worth cherishing. And on behalf of my class, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here to celebrate this moment with us here today. We're truly grateful for what you've done. So my dear class of 2018, let's not think about jobs today. Remind me if I forget. Let's look behind and celebrate how far we've come. Let's look ahead and celebrate our bright futures. And most importantly, let's look on our sides and celebrate the wonderfully, wonderful people here today um, who have never left our sides throughout this entire journey of 15 months. What a ride it's been. And it's been an absolute privilege and honor to share this ride with you all. Thank you.